Anders FC TV har fanget vores cheftræner Colin Todd. Colin, our first match in Viborg, was it like we expected? A difficult game? Or did we make it difficult for ourselves? Uh, first of all, we knew it was going to be difficult, but the first 20-25 minutes we made it uh, more difficult than we expected through to through our own inability, um, first of all, to to pass the ball when we had it without being under any, any pressure. Togetherness uh, in terms of um, not being uh, compact, you know, um, give us problems. And um, obviously, I tried to get the message out to to slow it down, to control the ball, get your passes together. And I think once we got over the first 20-25 minutes, and we got our goal, we settled down very well because possession-wise, we we had a lot of possession. Um, um, and we all seem to be in control of the game, if, if if that's the right word you can use, because it only takes 30 seconds to to concede a goal and. Uh, we conceded what I um, thought, uh, and the players would agree, was a very, very uh, sloppy goal. You know, um, so that we thought might put us on the back foot, um, but we uh, produced again. Um, Ronnie, who had produced a magnificent first goal, yeah. produced even a better one. Uh, you know, to put our <laughs> put our noses in front to one. Um, then we got punished by what I look upon. Uh, as a goal that could have been prevented, uh, you know we could have kept the ball up field. We misjudged the ball that came down. We didn't close um, the, the person who shot the um, at goal, and I think Mikel said he could have uh, done better. Um, so um, instead of probably coming away with a win, uh, which at that time of the game, with two minutes to go, we felt we could have uh, had the three points. We only got the one point, but. You know, that's football. You have to learn from it. Um, there was a lot of aspects in the game that I was pleased with. Uh, some disappointing factors. Disappointing factors being that we didn't close the ball down. We didn't work the opposition to put them under pressure at times. Not all the time, but we let too many balls go in the box. Um, but uh, the positives was our ability to, to pass and move. And you've got to remember that the heat was very, very powerful. Um, so concentration levels were sometimes affected by um, the heat and uh, a lack of, you know, t intake of water. But uh, we, we we came away with a, with a point, um, and we have to go and build on that. You know, our next home game, our home game, our first home game, I should say, Hodens, uh, and, and we look to see if we can continue where we left off where our home form was very good so let's hope we can continue with good performances at home people say we have a very good team now and you said our bench is better how do you see us as a team now well I think we we have to have learned from last season last season was a, a tremendous uh, uh, performances for us um, and as long as we are motivated we have the hunger we have the desire because certainly we have the ability um, to, to hurt the opposition. We have brought new players in, um, so the bench is stronger. We're a stronger squad, I believe, all round. And I think there'll be a lot of teams out there who uh, will probably fear us, give us a lot of, a lot of respect, but uh, we know that we have to be at it all the time. But you say you have more options now. Everybody being fit, um, I've got a better bench, and I've always said to you that the subs play a major part uh, in a football club, in a team. And if I looked at my bench on on Sunday, um, there was very good options, and I expect to have very good options um, this Sunday as well. Is it the same starting eleven in uh, Viborg we see on Sunday? Now, why should I tell you, and why will I tell you before I tell the players? Yeah. So you're asking a question where you know you're going to get no for the answer to you, because I will not reveal my starting lineup until Saturday. No. Thank you and good luck. Thank you.